Do, 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 do. Starting the stream. Let's see what I got. I should be live now. Just double checking everything. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I should probably make more videos. Yeah, definitely should be. Uh, let's double check my audio. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we do that. Life's just been a little bit of a hassle lately. I know that's not much of an excuse, but... Orkin Reactor, I don't really care for any of that stuff. Um, yeah. So I gotta do Komi, I gotta do Shazin. Does that have to be different? Yes. Viral. Thumper. So, I saw this weird thing about the Thumper. Uh, let me see. Let me let me check the uh, video for it. Thumper with MK1 Kunai. So I'm just watching the video real quick. Uh. uh Duration of the durability. Status resistance. Okay. Okay. I see. I see, I see, I see. I have un one unread message. Let's take a look. I don't like how it defaults me to uh, whatever. Uh, I don't need to see that. Oh, look, double credits. Woo. Uh, let's get rid of that. I don't want to see any of that nonsense. All right. So every time... Okay, I need to test this out. Um, so I need something with explosives. So, basically, if I grab the kunai, right, do I have concealed explosives? Hello and welcome to chat. Concealed. Yes, I do. So, this is, this is the thing that I saw, right? So I'm just going to increase my attack speed rapidly. So as much fire rate as possible. I've done this the other day. That's okay. Anemic agility. Uh, gunslinger. So I want as fast as possible. Oh, this is also, this also gives fire rate, huh? I don't care. Uh, let's use some... Um, Mmm, I never considered that. How much fire rate is this? This is like 40% fire rate, right? So, we do that. I wish this was not as clunky. Okay. Uh, and then we go back here. So, we have a butt-ton of fire rate. Uh, we'll do some multi-shot. So, do I have any other multi-shot mods? Uh, just those two. Any more fire rate mods? Just those. Pressurized magazine on reload. Fire rate when aiming. Okay. So, more fire rate. Let's get more fire rate. Let's see how bad this, this actually is. So, this is something really jank that I learned. Uh, I think all of you have probably seen the video. I'm probably gonna... Let's, let's use it on Necros. Because that could be funny. Uh, for those who aren't aware of what I'm trying... Uh, I should be able to one-shot 
oh, quote unquote one shot like a lot of really tanky targets with this setup. So I'm going to replace uh, Soul Punch because Soul Punch is kind of terrible. Uh, let's apply. Let's see. Override. I, I had like the most infuriating customer support uh, nonsense in the last little bit. So that's why I'm late today. Today's stream will be a little bit short because that burnt me the heck out. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So I, I have to test this out myself. So, well of life. Infuse, soul punch, confirm, three. Good. <sighs> I might farm out the uh, other like testing arrangement because apparently there is one for Intradi Labs and I think that one just looks better in general. Alright, so we're going to go to Samaris. And uh, we're going to test this out on some tanky, tanky enemies. So there's a couple of, like, really, really scuff things that I can do. Um, so I want to test them all out. So, for instance... Uh, let's go to the ballroom. It's always going to be the ballroom. I'm never not going to use the ballroom. Uh, hello, cat. Uh, corrupted. Oh, God, the sensitivity. I've been playing a lot of Helldivers again. Oh, I forgot to swap the weapon. So let's swap out the weapon. So I'm going to get rid of my precious Akikor. Let's equip the kunai. So, just a reminder, I'm only using this kunai because it shoots really, really fast, and I can use concealed explosives with it. So, like, if I do this... Oh, I can do, um... A magazine cap. That's what I can do. Tainted clip. Magazine capacity, sure. Um, so these can, yeah, so these can knock me back. So that's what I want, right? So what I'm going to do is if I do this and I shoot them in the head, it doesn't do anything, right? But if I do this, does it do anything? No, it doesn't. Oh, did they fix it? Because it's supposed to prevent... Okay, I think it's already been patched out. That's unfortunate. That's a really high attack speed, though. <laughs> yeah, so I thought... Like, Well of Life was supposed to... Um... Let's see. Status effects. Status effects damage intended for nearby allies will be absorbed by the enemies. Allies gain additional health when attacked. They attack the enemy. Okay. So. I need status. Okay. So let's get rid of this and let's go status I guess uh let's do scorch and we can it's nine seconds though we can get rid of tainted clip for now it's not super duper necessary um No, let's let's keep tainted clip. Let's keep tainted clip. Uh, let's see how this goes. Now that I have a damaging status effect, let's see how this goes. Uh, 
doesn't look like I've been affected. Hmm. Because I'm clearly getting knocked back by it, right? Because... Do I set myself on fire? Uh... Okay, I need... I'm not setting myself on fire, I see. Okay, what do I need to set myself... What, what do I need? Okay. Uh, this wisp can trigger status resist from all sources. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Uh, let's see. Every time a status gets immune, it creates a well willow wisp. Oh, wait, what? That seeks out the target. When it hits the target, it reduces the HP by 10%. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So it's a combination of Will-O-Wisp and... Okay. Fortunately... No, unfortunately, I don't... I... That... Okay, okay, I, I need to... I need to do the thing. <sighs> okay. So let, let me... Let me take a look at how this is supposed to work. Um, uh, status resistance. Yeah, okay. So, I'm so confused. So, do I, does it not work on... I'm 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 so confused. How is this supposed to work? This seem it was posted four months ago, so uh to trigger the wisp you need to resist status effects, not immune. So if you're using Link, it will not spawn a wisp as it gives you immunity. This wisp damage ignores so it's resistance. Huh. I, I'm so confused. So it makes me invulnerable for a period of time. Area around target that gives allies status resistance. Every time a status gets immune, a will o -wisp is created. So I should be able to do it without wisp. Right. This is I'm I'm so confused. I, I want to figure out how this works. Because if it does, then it'd be really funny. It'll be really, really funny. Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm I'm just like hanging out today. Just a short stream. Try to try to go for a little bit. Okay. So we'll do So right now. Oh, what? There we go. That was weird. No, very weird. Look how fast I can throw these. It's very funny. I, I'm, I'm curious to see how well that goes as well. So... Every time... So is it only for Wisp the Will-O-Wisp effect happens? Because as you can see, like, nothing's happening to this guy, right? How fast do I shoot these? Very funny. Very, very funny. Okay, so this gives status resistance to all nearby allies. That's very interesting. I never really considered it. Um, so it's clearly not working the way I want it to. Because, like, maybe it's for Wisp only? 
or not Wisp, uh, Trinity only. So let's change to Trinity and upgrade. So we'll do something like this where it's super common, uh, super simple, nothing extravagant. We'll do this kunai. I'm, I'm so surprised that there's no kunai prime, but whatever. Okay. So if we do well of life here and then we do this. It should be knocking us down, but it isn't. But it's not killing any of the... I don't understand. It's very, very strange. Okay. So I can't apply statuses to myself anymore, right? Unless it's knockback with this. As you can see, it's knockback, right? And it's supposed... That's supposed to count as a status. It might have been changed, so it might not work anymore. Hello, Lulstar. So unfortunately, I don't think what I want to do works anymore. Uh, oh, well. Would have been really funny. I can't even hit their heads from here, which is kind of funny. Wait, what's that underneath? How much higher do I need to raise it? Yeah, you can see that, like, this is not the most... Oh! And then... That sounds so brutal. I love that. I love that, I love that, I love that. Okay, so... Uh, I, I would imagine that was changed, like, in the last two patches or so. That's unfortunate. I wanted to play around with uh, Well of Life today. So, it creates a Well of Life on an enemy. Allies near them gradually regenerate health and are immune to status effects. Status effect damage intended for nearby allies will be absorbed by the enemy. So, wait, does this not do damage? Hang on. It doesn't look like it's doing damage. Okay. So I need to be able to do damage to myself. Hmm. Okay, so that's a that's a recent thing. Uh okay. So there's no reliable way of changing that. Understood. Wait, what? Hang on. I don't have a chest sigil. Why does why does Trinity have a tramp stamp? <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed. <laughs> Dang Trinity. Gosh darn it. Okay. So I kinda do want to build Trinity up a little bit, but that's that's besides the point. Uh, okay, so that's that testing is done. It doesn't work the way I want it to, so it's okay. Is there a way to apply statuses to yourself consistently? Does anyone know? I need to get rid of these two. They're a waste of space. Um, right, Eneros is the next thing on the docket. I want to test out Eneros. So, Eneros got a couple of interesting changes. Um, so let's see, desiccation does damage per second and gives a life steal. So he's very survivable now. Sandstorm, become a sandstorm, devours enemies, pull him into his world when healing himself. So it's now a healing thing and it is a duration. It's not a channel, which is good. It's also a grouper. Uh, Scarab Shell, I think, is probably his weakest thing. 
Because technically, I don't ever need to cast this ability. Um, because I have Desiccation. And Desiccation's Curse, right? Uh, enemies killed while immersed in the swarm summon a Gavant. I don't know what the scaling for the Kabat is. Hmm. 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 So I don't really need Rolling Guard because I have Sandstorm. Sandstorm makes him invulnerable. Right? I do want continuity. I do want strength. And I do want health. Right? So... I don't do anything heat wise. I can get a lot of I can get a lot of health though. Man, could you imagine if Scarab Shell was like sub his subsumable and not desiccation? So desiccation's curse gives me plus two kavats. So that means I can have up to five kavats spreading around Scarab Swarm. Meaning that I don't ever need to have Scarab Swarm around. Because I can just, um, yeah, because Desiccation's Curse is just basically a better Scarab Swarm now. Um, do I have any of his other augments? I do, wait, uh, Negation Armor. Okay, let's see. He consumes Scarab Armor to heal. But the thing about Scarab Armor is that it's it has HP, right? So it doesn't last forever, which I think is a problem. I like how they are using new things, I, and that he doesn't take any damage to showcase it. It's very, very funny. Okay, let's do Strength. Let's do Strength. Uh, so, let's see. I... What can, what can I give him? I can give him... Should I make a meme of it and make him use uh, Chroma's Subsume? Give him a lot of extra HP. That could be funny. Uh, so I need strength first and foremost. So that... I don't like Blind Rage. I really don't like Blind Rage. Like it's a lot of strength. It doesn't even affect... It affects the armor. It doesn't affect the... Um... Okay, so you... Inoros, you need armor as well. I could do this. I really don't like having to use umbrals, though. Because uh... the stats are nice. It's just that, like, I don't know. I also don't want to throw any Forma in him. That's just my my own problem. Apparently, you can give him shield to help him gate. But I, I feel that's super duper cheesy. I'm not against cheese. I'm just like, I don't like my screen flickering red, you know? Or blue. Okay. Um, does range actually matter? Yes, because I want this to be widespread. Okay. And it's actually better if I have less duration, right? How long do the cats last? Interesting. I, I need to check everything. Uh, so I need range. Uh, so overextended is nice. Because I don't care about duration. Let's just do vitality normal. And steel uh, fiber or normal. And then we'll do... Uh, strength again, because I know, 
that's what I need. So I don't care much for duration. That's okay. No. Oh, it's so weird. He's so weird. Okay. Um, we'll do that. And that should be enough for now. So basically, right, if I get in trouble, I want to press this, right? Because it makes me invulnerable and it heals me. Can I press it to cancel? Yes, yes I can. So I don't really need to worry about that. And I don't ever need to worry about, like, uh, using my alt. Because just doing that should summon a cat, right? Okay, so it doesn't just summon a cat. I need to actively do a thing to you and then do that. That should summon a cat. So that should propagate things, right? Or I guess they won't attack at all. That works too. So I need to be built for finisher damage, that's okay. And then we do that, blah 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 blah. The thing is, he's very good at spreading corrosive. Right, so that means I can just pile them all together. So that means he wants two green shards. Unfortunately, I don't have like the resources at the moment to get green shards. Uh, mostly because I spent all my Stella. So let's see, how tanky does he get? So let's get rid of Grungle, first and foremost. So, Grungle, go away. Alright, so, let's, let's do this. Scarab Shell. So, I get 400 armor. That's actually not a lot. It should scale with his base armor, I feel. I don't think that's it's worth the investment of 50% of my HP. So, I probably will get rid of Scarab Armor if I'm getting rid of something. Uh, let's not pause their AI. Let's have them shoot at me. Right. So, let's see how much damage I take. I take a lot of damage. So then when I do this, I heal back up to full. No problem. And then I do that. And then now I just try to merc them. Right. And then every time I get low, I press that. It should be fine. And now... They should come down, and they should CC themselves. It's not bad. It's not bad. Right? Because those guys were completely capable of taking me out, right? I'm, I'm testing Inoros. Inoros got a change uh, a little while ago. So let's, let's do Corrupted Heavy Gunners. So these are the tankiest enemies in the game, right? And they also have Overguard, right? So you can see that I'm getting knocked around, I'm dying. Okay, so it in, they instantly killed me, that's, that's to be expected. So you can see that when I go down, I need to do this to resurrect myself. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I need to at least knock one down at the moment. Okay, so you can see that I can't survive an onslaught of continuous uh, nonsense. I wish I could apply, like, attack speed or something to this. It doesn't... Okay, there's no indication on how much time I have left, which is the problem I'm having. So... So at the moment, I have armor, and that armor has health, and that's not really helpful to me, so I need to strip all of this first. Okay, I'm almost dead. So now I can heal.
I think I need rage. That's what I need. Because if I have rage, then I can keep myself up. No problem. Oh, God. Yeah. You can see that I'm going to have trouble with Steel Path with this setup. If I can't take down... Um, if I can't take out... Uh, and eggs mine like this. Of course, like, you're not going to end up in a situation like this very often. It's just, like... Like, there will be times where, like, the only things that are around you are eggs mine, and it's going to be really, really rough. So I need more energy. That's that's one thing for sure. Um, as well as, I need some way to deal with all of these shenanigans. So I need green shards. That's what I'm pretty certain of at this point. Uh, so as long as I can knock down my first one, I shouldn't have any problems. Because you can see that their armor is almost fully stripped. So back to full. And I died. Instantly died, by the way. No chance at rezzing myself. Very weird. I'm not sure why that's the case. But probably... I got Tenokai? I'm very confused. Okay, okay, I see. <sighs> yeah, so I can do some... Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, so you can see that, like, Inros is going to struggle with that. That's that's fine, right? Like, in a normal situation, you're not going to be dealing with eggs and I all the time, right? And you're probably going to have, like, a better weapon for a single target. Uh, because you should have something that can deal with uh, single target enemies, right? So these guys, for instance, oh, almost dead. There we go. So these guys, for instance, I need to. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, I need to do this, right? I can grab them all. I can be invulnerable for as long as I need to. Then I can do that to CC them all. And then I can do this to get cats. And now they should spread his ultimate forever. And now, like, it's not a problem, right? So he ha- what- how wide is his grouping ability? Let me- let me take a look. Cause like- wait, do they just spawn on death? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because uh, I never actually took a deep look at Enoros' changes, right? Uh, enemies killed while immersed in the swarm summon a swarm kavat. Okay. Let's see if there's any new hints. The more Enoros dies, the more hits the enemies are... Okay, so the more I die, the more I need help to revive. Okay. When down, find an enemy that can survive multiple hits... Everything can survive multiple hits. That's not a tip. Attacks from Enoros' Swarm Kavats contribute to his revival process. Now that is something I needed to know. So the more cats that you have around, the faster he revives. Uh, while enemies are facing Enoros to blind them, then use melee finishers to regain health. Sandstorm is a great way to get out of desperate situations. Healing Enoros while making him invulnerable. Uh, Sandstorm can be ended early by casting it a second time. Each status absorbed by Scarab Shell drains 5% of the charged armor. That is annoying because, like, it doesn't. Okay. It. gets worse whenever it. Wait, does he. Ab Wait. By draining. Incoming damage and absorb status effects. So it prevents him from uh, taking a status effect. Does it? It doesn't feel like it. Okay, that, that's kind of jank. Um, I don't know how good that is. It, does efficiency affect that? Because if I can do that like a hundred times, then that's great. If I can, then whatever. 
Um, okay. So how big is the AoE here? It's not very big. So I'm going to have to uh, run around grouping people. So let's see. Let's check if efficiency matters. So let's grab efficiency. So fleeting expertise and streamline. I know that goes over cap. That's okay. It does not scale with efficiency. Okay. That's kind of lame. That means I can take 20 status effects. That means it's practic borderline useless. Right? Because like at the end of the day, 400 armor is not a lot. So I guess I like if you're getting rid of an ability, it's gonna be Scarab Shell, right? Because uh, negation armor. How long is the invulnerability? I don't know. Why is there a cooldown of sixty seconds? I don't know. Does it help? Like it? I feel like it doesn't. You know, do what I need it to do. Okay, so. Chroma got a buff recently as well. Uh, I'm not going to look into that just yet. Hmm. So basically, like, okay, how much how much corrosive does this give anyway? Like, I guess that's a main question, right? So if I do this, I group them all up. It's really funny to watch, by the way. And then they're prone for a little while. How much? How much corrosive? So they're slowly going up. Okay, they can get. Yeah, they, so they can cap out on corrosive. That's that's not an issue, right? So if I get some green shards, that'll be fine. That'll automatically make them, like, self-propagate. Right? Because now look at all the cats that I have. I can have up to five cats, and they will make more. I don't need to cast a, a Sandstorm anymore. Right? Oh. Hmm. 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 Let's see. I, I could have a build where I summon as many things as possible, and that would be really funny. Uh, the funniest thing is I think uh, the Sand Kavats are better on other frames. Here, I think I have an Ash setup for this. I don't know if I've actively done it yet, or like if I've overrode it at this point. Let's see, do I have a Desiccation's Curse Ash? Common Frenzy. No, I don't have a Desiccation's Curse. Ash. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's, let's test some things out. Like, also, if there's anyone who, like, wants to do anything, by all means, let me know. I'm, I'm just literally here hanging out and testing things out. Like, that, that's the, that's the point of... Uh, Playing Warframe, after all. Having fun. Okay. So, let's see. Desiccation. 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 So, I need... Why are you so expensive? Pheromones and synthetics. This? Pheromones and synthetics. Uh, sure. Have as many Lamentus as you want and normal Thraxplasms as you want. And synthetics, uh, control modules, comms, uh, Sagan pearls, sure. Feed. I still don't have enough pheromones. Wonderful. Uh, da -da 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 -da. neural sensors. Feed. Infuse, shuriken, confirm, first. 
Okay. So first things first, right? Like, okay. So this is horribly inefficient, by the way. You don't need to do this. I'm just curious, more so than anything. So I have a lot of power strength. That's great. Uh, and if you pop in... Uh, I don't need this much efficiency, right? What's the duration for? Well, I'll need it for this. Uh, let's get rid of transient fortitude and fleeting expertise for now. <sighs> let's go desiccation. Uh, so I need one of you. I probably grab precision inten. Oh, grab precision intensify because I don't need that. Uh, sure. Like we can clear out some steel path. We can have. Uh, let's see. You know what? I think you need galvanized mods, right? So we can do some galvanized stuff. I right, let me just finish my testing and I'll. I'll I'll be more than happy to join. So do these count as so for arcane trickery? These count as finishers, right? For desiccation's curse. Uh, I don't know if it counts. So let's get another V polarity thing. Let's get continuity. Let's get a Namoron. First, sure we'll do that. Uh, it's okay that the efficiency is a little down the drain. Uh, let's go efficiency. I can just go streamline. I, I wish that they would add more efficiency things. Uh, let's do molt efficiency. Equip. And then uh, here, I can hop into the Discord in just a moment. Uh, let's see. So I just want to finish this testing, and then uh, we can we can do something. Uh, I'm hopping into the Discord now, allowing my microphone use. Uh, yeah, we, we can do some um, we can do some arbitrations and whatnot. We can grind all out that a little bit. Are there any warframes that you're looking for at the moment? So I want to pause AI because I don't think I'm strong enough at the moment. So, what what melee weapon am I running? Keratinos. Uh, let's go ceramic. I don't think it matters too much as long as I can do a finisher, right? So how many how many okay how many cats can I have? So if I do this and do this, so that's one cat, right? Could you attack, maybe? No? Okay. So I need to have them aggro me so that the cats can attack. Simulate. So if I do this, how many... I just want to know how many cats I can get. So that's two cats. So I can just start murdering them now, right? So I'm at three cats, four cats. This is very funny. I didn't... How much damage do you guys do? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This could be very funny. And their durations are independent, right? Okay. So I'm going to get more heavy gunners. 
So we can get this. They're all going to be upsetty spaghetti at me. That's okay. We'll do this really quick. Oh. Uh. Okay, so that's just a lot of bleed damage. That's okay. That's normal. I just didn't, like, get up fast enough. So I can't... I need to just kind of sort of get up and live. So, first things first. If I do this, do that, and do that. Thanks, game. Okay, so what I want to do is not working. I should have just given up there. Because I can't mercy them at all. I like how my operator is tankier than my Ash. Okay. I need more energy, first and foremost. Right? I need to do that. And then I need to do that. Does this work just for summoning the Kavats? No, it doesn't. Okay. So that summons a Kavat. No problem, right? As long as I can Mercy kill them. So that means I want to run an impact weapon. Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. And I just need one Kavat, right? And then it should spread the curse very rapidly. Right? So how much damage do they do? Right? As long as they're able to keep, like, doing their thing, it shouldn't be a problem. Right? Like... You just need the first finisher kill, and you can CC them all, You can, as you can see, right? And every time, like, one's about to run out of time, like, another one takes its place. They don't do a lot of damage by themselves, though. So whoever you're running this on requires... <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 idea, 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 idea. This could be really dumb. Uh, so I'm going to try it on Hydroid next. So right now my problem with Hydroid, and this goes with like any frame, right, that requires like a little bit of help with their abilities. Okay, so these things apply... Um, corrosive, right? That means it's the second ability in the game that applies corrosive. Hydroid doesn't necessarily need it, but it is nice to have passive corrosive production. Let me show you. So, it's going to suck because I'm going to need more of those resources. Okay, so let's see. I have a little bit... Hello, DJ! Welcome to the stream. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's basically all I'm doing now, right? Helping viewers in stream. So I'm going to remove Spellbind, because Spellbind is from a bygone era. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll, this is the last thing I'm going to test, and then... Um, uh, then I'm going to... We can do some arbitrations. So I need a lot of pheromones. Yeah, I just need to sit down on Deimos for a little bit. That's basically it. Okay, so I don't want to get rid of any of this. I, I'm going to get rid of Tentacle Swarm. Yeah, it sounds like Blasphemy. I know, I know, I know. Whatever. Because this is not a... I'm not going to play him as a looting frame. I'm going to play him as a looting frame. Hmm. That doesn't sound any better. 
Um. <laughs> anyways, jokes aside, let's get Desiccation's Curse down. Uh, let's move away Burial's Hatred. Uh, status Immunity, Rousing Plunder. So I want Viral Tempest just because it's good. And then, I don't know... Uh, rolling guard, rolling guard. All of this doesn't super duper matter, right? So, we'll see. Uh, you mean, um, Deimos. Duveri doesn't have a thing for that, so... We're gonna go through. Okay, I need an impact weapon. Let me let me find an impact weapon that I have right now. Uh, I think the Diplos will do. Right, Lieutenant Diplos. So the reason why I want to use the Diplos is because they're primarily impact. Right, they're impact leaning. So if you do. We'll take away all of this stuff. Let's go impact. So we want pummel and concussive rounds. Uh, and Saxon Spittle, I guess. I've never used Saxon Spittle before. What does it do even? Lifted enemies, so it's worthless. Because, it, okay, it's worthless because it has a six second cooldown. If it didn't have a cooldown, it actually would have function, right? If they just literally like half of these things, if they remove the cooldown on them or drop them to like one or two seconds, then they'd be so much more useful. So you can see that I'm drastically increasing that. I want status now. So galvanized shot, I guess. Um, stunning speed. And then I want rate. Rate of fire. Uh, gunslinger. I could put Anemic Agility, too. Because all I care about is applying as much status as possible. And as much impact as possible. Uh, it might... Everything might look a little weird. But let, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. I'm really excited. If this works the way I want it to work, then it... I might play a lot more Hydroid just for shits and giggles. Where would the sanctuary be? So yeah, we can we I can help you out with demos. What I do recommend is that we do some arbitrations. Arbitrations are going to be really hard. So if you want to join me for arbitrations, make sure you can survive them. That's my only ask. Uh okay. Okay. So we have this, right? So if we do hang on. That's my fault. That's okay. Revive, please. Okay. So I want to use desiccation on you guys. And then... Oh, right. Come on. Okay, it's not working the way I wanted to. So impact is not doing the thing, it's okay. It's fine. It's, I'm not worried. So we group them all up. We do that. We shoot them in the face hole. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Now we have a Kavat. Now, it, now the Kavat can full strip, right? I don't have any form of healing. Come on, Mr. Kavat. Spread the curse. So you can see that the Kavats are more than capable of spreading Desiccation's curse. It's a little finicky. I, I pressed the wrong button again. 
So, okay, here we go. It spreads the curse. I kill another dude. It spreads another Kavat. It doesn't spread a Kavat? What? Wait, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, eh. Let's wash them all up to the side. It's okay, pizza pie. Excuse me, excuse me, very rude. I do not appreciate being knocked on the ground. Okay. Did that, isn't that supposed to, oh my god, game, please. Okay. Uh, I need a better way to do this. It's very clear that I need a better way to do this. There's a cat. Okay, go in the cat. I kill another one. I should summon another cat. Yeah, okay. And now... As long as those cats last, they should continue to spread democracy. Oh, one person got out. It's not foolproof, as you can see. Wait, are the cats still alive? No, they're not. Interesting. I don't like it, but it's interesting. Hmm, so I need a lot of duration. I don't know how I feel about that. Hello, Lolstar. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Lephantis. Uh, okay, so. Currently not able to survive in general at the moment. So I want to max up the duration, I think. So we'll go narrow-minded and constant. I already have constitution. Um, do I have continuity? I do have continuity. I have molt efficiency. Sure, pat a GM for now. I, I'm not too fussed. Okay, so we have these guys down here. So that should spawn a cat, which should then invalidate that guy, right? What? That should have spawned another cat. I'm a little annoyed. Okay. Is it not spawning more cats? No, it's not. I'm so confused. This should have been a free win for Hydroid and Ineros. But now I'm just confused why it doesn't work. Okay, so let's let's first things first. Let's do this. Let's do this. There, I have more armor. I should survive more. I'm not saying that I'm going to survive more, but still. Right. Uh, so I need one of you. Okay. Okay, so you see the problem with, like, testing with armor strip? Like, it's either things die immediately, or, like, not at all. <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, let's pause their AI, because I'm just testing nonsense. 
Okay. One, two. Ah, rumble. One. All right. Two. Three. So that spawns a cat. And that's going to make you upsetty. That's not another cat. That doesn't spawn another cat either. What is going on? It worked with Ash. I'm, I'm very confused. Because, like, I know it works. I just did it with Ash. Why is it not spawning more cats, though? Because they should be under the effect of Scarab Swarm. Or do I just need to hit them again like that? No? I like... Wait. Okay. Because I can... Oh, okay, that's a little disappointing. It should have been such a free win. I don't get it. I don't get I don't get the difference. Like cuz Let's see. So if I get like lower level enemies, let, let's put them to level like 1. Right? If I put them to level 1 and like they're not on steel path, let's simulate, right? Uh they should survive desiccation's curse. Let's see. Yeah. So if I do this, they summon one, right? Okay. That 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 much is understood. That much makes sense. So if I turn on their AI, right? So if I do that again. So they're not propagating themselves, which is why I'm so confused. Because they should be. Okay, I need to raise their level to the point where they can survive these. Okay. Uh, kill. Let's do level 15. And there. Level 15 is still not high enough level for them to survive. Very weird. Because I want this to work. I really, really want this to work. It's just not. Which is the problem. Uh, let's grab it to... 30? Yeah, Baruch Prime. Uh, the Dante giveaway will... Well, I'll be starting to count the likes um, after today's stream. Uh, the deadline is tomorrow. And if I don't have a thousand likes, then I can't give really do the giveaway anymore, right? So, is either a thousand likes or 500 subs is what I need to hit. Uh, for the Dante giveaway. Because, like, right now, like, it's not... Otherwise, it wouldn't be... Like, I can't really do anything with that, right? Without that much. Okay. Can you guys survive being... No, you can't. Why is this Kavat so strong? Is it the scale of level or something? No, it can't scale with level. Okay. Now now I'm at a weird precipice. I don't know how high I need to bring the level up to. So right, let's do 60. 
Because, like, these, these enemies should, like, be very easily surviving my nonsense at this point. Okay, we got a cat. And then... Does that give me another cat? No. Does this give me another cat? Yes. Okay, so... Okay. So my issue, right, is that... Okay, it doesn't work with Hydroid. Why does it not work with Hydroid? I don't know. But if I use Ash, it does work. Which really, really confuses me. Right? Uh, so if I do this, right? If I do this... Uh... Come on. Now we have that. See? It works! I'm not crazy! Why does it not work with Hydroid? I'm so confused. Like, it works great for Ash, right? I'm not doing anything different. I'm just walking up to them, whipping sand in their eyes, and then it works. Is it because it's on the fourth ability slot? Where... Okay, I think I understand. Oh, that's so annoying. Because, like... Like, okay. Because it still applies des like uh, Scarab Swarm, right? Like, look at, look at how effective it is at spreading CC and self-propagating, right? So, the issue... I think is because it's in the fourth ability slot, and that's so weird. Uh, all right. You can. Well, Baruch is always going to be a strong choice. Uh, Hildren, Hildren's also nice, uh, especially in the modern era. So the key with Hildren. Here, here's something that no one ever tells you about, like Hildren or whatever. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, mind you, you don't need any of this stuff. Right, here is the bird glass. So, what you need with Hildren is you want Guardian and Manifold Bond. Doesn't matter what Sentinel you have, as long as you have these two, right? So, the reason why you want these two is, I'm going to bring up Hildren, right? I'm going to put her with no mods, okay? I'm going to put myself against max level Steel Path enemies. Uh, let's do that. So now... You can see that I'm getting my ass handed to me, right? You can see that, like, I got pretty, pretty knocked down at that point. Oh, no, look, I'm at max again. Oh, I have no shields again. Oh, now I have shields. Right? Like, th this, is, this is how you p p play a Hildren, right? And then, oh, oh, there we go. I have shields again. <laughs> like, it's so ridiculous. And then, oh, no. Oh, now that my, now that my Nautilus is dead, now I'm dead, you know? 
But at that point, I've already armor stripped everything. Right? Mind you, I have no mods in this Hildren. And I could survive for that long, right? Now imagine if you had mods in Hildren. Right? You could be super duper tanky. It's actually really, really ridiculous how far you can push her. Like, here, let me let me do this again. Do that. Oh no. They're knocking me down. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? Oh no, still knocking me down. I need to get away. And then Nautilus comes back, and now I'm back at full H full shields. Oh no! Mind you, these are like level 180 steel path enemies. I can survive them without any mods. On Hildren herself. Right? These are some of the most difficult like to survive enemies in the game. Uh, let me see if I can like... Um... Hang on, let me go back to the relay real quick. Because I think I have primed regen, right? I think that knocks down the uh, regen time by how many seconds? Hang on, let, let, me, let me try to make like some unkillable frames real quick, just by being cheeky. Okay, so I have Manifold Bond. So I, every kill with three or more unique status effects reduces the ability cooldown by three seconds. This has about a 10 second cooldown, right? So you need to get at least three kills with that. That's not a problem. Momentous Spawn, I don't even know what these do. Um, it's This is not necessary at all. I can take that out, no problem. Uh, fired Up is nice. Contagious Bond is nice, it's not necessary. Uh, let's see, Regen. So I have primed regen. I have not put any mods into this thing. Let's get rid of uh, contagious bond for now. It's not necessary, right? So my computer is having a little bit of a rough time. It's okay. Okay, so sentient recovery time is reduced by 35 seconds, revised with 10 seconds of invulnerability. Okay, good. Sure. Why is why am I having so many stuttering issues? Whatever. Uh, oh, it's probably because I'm I'm in. Uh, okay, so don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Recovery time. So, uh, gosh darn it. Uh, da 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 da. Damage your companion and reduces. Wait. Oh, so it's Eximus Bonds, okay. Headshots, fine. Sacrifice. Sacrifice increases recovery time. Oh my god, I need to get out of this place fast. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. So probably if you want like permanent uptime for your uh, dude, you probably want Jin. Hang on, let's see if I can do this with Jin. Do I even have a Jin? Uh, yes, yes I do. Okay. So, I have Manifold Bond, that's good. I have Guardian, that's good. I have Primed Regen, which I, I don't care about all of that. Right, I was doing Fatal Attraction. Fatal Attraction is such a weird skill. Okay, so Primed Regen. And let's see, do I have the uh, Jin mod? Reawaken, there we go. Jin recovers, overguard for energy ore. Okay, they changed it. All right. So I, I'll deal with that later, right? So now I have Prime Regen, so it's less likely to die. I have Manifold Bond, that's less likely to die, blah, 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 blah. And now let's just deal with the heaviest enemies in the game again. 
We... Once again, no mods, no nothing. Oh no, I'm getting knocked all over the place. Woo! Well, now they're all armor stripped. Like, no struggle there. No struggle there at all. Hildren has went from, like, zero to hero with a lot of uh, the uh, changes. Well, she wasn't even a zero. She was just unpopular because you actively had to build around her. What is this? Gun and blade. Increase initial combat after... Pro oh, okay. All right. Uh, so... Yeah, so if you also want to put, like, get reactors and things like that, don't forget about Nora. Uh, of course, you could be using it for other things, but if you, like, if you enjoy the frame that you're using or the weapon that you're using and you don't want to use platinum, like, just doing your weeklies with Nora uh, will allow you to pick up the, um, uh, a reactor or catalyst, like, very, very frequently. What I would do, personally, is it, unless you've made it to Prestige, I would just wait until you need something and then buy something. Uh, buy something with your credits. Once you've Prestige, it's, it's whatever, right? Because I'm at, what, Prestige 30? Okay. Uh, I'll send you an invite. Anyone who wants to join me, feel free to let me know. Um, we're going to be doing some arbitrations. And then uh, we'll do, I don't know, maybe some Steel Path, some Duviri. I need to do some du I, uh and some Deimos, I think. I need some Deimos stuff as well. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... Sure, let's do the Lex today. I haven't played around with the Lex in a while. Very, very strong weapon. Very good feeling weapon. Normally when I'm zipping, I'm not doing any of that. Uh, so you, just a reminder, you want something a little bit on the tankier side. I'm going to be opening it up to public because it's better for us that way. Uh, Dex Furus. You probably want these. It gives you a free item slot even if you don't want to keep the Dex Furus. Um, but you you have all week to do it. It's not a big deal. All right, survival infestation. Anyone who wants to join, uh, let me know. But I I'll, I'll wait like five minutes. If no one wants to join, then that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, hi ninja. Uh, welcome to the Discord channel. Um. <laughs> uh. I, I don't I can't have my eyes on both Discord and chat at the same time, so it's a little bit difficult at the moment. I don't have them all streamed into the same place. Yeah, so anytime that you're ready, um go ahead and hit that button. Yeah, Revenant's just a really easy frame to uh play. It's just that's the main reason. I because I want to showcase like other things. And other weapons. I need to check something. Uh, okay. I need to do a thing for the dog later. It's okay. It's not a big deal. So, I haven't used the Lex Prime in a while. It's a very powerful weapon. Oh wait, it's infested. This is like the worst place for the Alex Prime. It's okay. So you can see that the Lex definitely suffers from success. I just hit multiple headshots and I've only gotten a little bit of nonsense. We got a high, uh, a Necros, which is nice. 
So what I'm showing you is like quite literally the biggest problem with um, incarnate weapons. Like, if you are dealing with an enemy that cannot handle um, uh, that cannot just take body shots and charges really slowly, like you're not going to be able to use the weapon. That's a simple. That's it. If sense or buts about it. They should, I, I feel like they would need to lower the overall, like, damage of a lot of Incarnates if they wanted to make them like the Torrid. Uh, mind you, the Torrid is, like, one of the easiest Incarnates to use and probably a little bit over two. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the Torrid was, like, really overused now. Uh, make sure to stay close to the Necros, uh, Lulstar. Because, uh, unfortunately, unlike, um... Uh, whatchamacallit missions, there's no, um... Uh, what is it called? There's no global pickup, and what I'm talking about is Railjack. I just forgot it for a moment. I need to put away Grungle, though. But, like, the reason why I like the... I mean, just look at that. It's just an entire, entire wave of them dead. No questions asked. Boop. Oh no, all of them are still alive? There we go. All of them are gone. Whoop the doopy. It, it's basically a better firing um it, it's a more consistent what was it called uh archiplasma because like it does so much damage it's unbelievable the amount of damage this does but like as you can see against infested i'm not going to have any luck charging it with the Torrid, I can literally just hit whatever, right? I'm a little annoyed that I f was able to find the bug on Desiccation's Curse. I really wanted it to work. Uh, they moved forward, so let's move up as well. Just keep everything in the same place. Uh, and all you're really looking for is to kill the uh, little flying uh, guys with the red lines. That's all you really want to kill at the moment. So every five minutes you complete, you'll get one. I believe you need 30 uh, resources to get what you want. another one yeah it's I don't know I don't like communicating with randoms at all like I should have brought the Occupore realistically it's just more convenient so now I'm just I'm just literally waiting for them to approach me right let's see there's people in front of me people behind me I'm just going to stick in a place that's nice and convenient for me at this point. Because, like, I don't... Well, I don't need to kill any of these. If I see any bursters, I'll wait because they can spawn drones, which is really weird. Uh, I might be. The... The question was, will I be on Warframe tomorrow? Did someone die? <sighs> yeah, that's why you don't run away from the rest of the party. Like if you, especially if you're going to die like that. Because now we have, like, the... 
whatever. Whatever. Uh, I might be on Warframe tomorrow. I like, I'm I'm still taking a bit of a break. I'm not getting triggered per se. It's just like I don't know. It. One thing that annoys me is when people like people kind of try to punch or do something and then they get upset because they failed. Right? Because like, how much do you want to bet that this guy's complaining to his friend at the moment about like how no one's reviving him even though we can't because the spawns aren't high enough. Or complaining the fact that we're using Revenant or whatever. Because we literally have to wait until we see those stupid flying things before we can even, like, hope to revive them. And now I have to run all the way back here to grab my loot. So the little white stars are the things that, like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Screw it. If you're going to run off like that, I'm just going to stand still. Not, not, I, I'm going to do my job, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I, I if I'm a, like the more pro likely the reason why I'm more annoyed at the moment than anything is because like just talking with customer service is such a travesty. In a lot of cases, I know that they're trying to do their jobs, but when you ask a yes or no question and they give you like a pol polit like long politician answer, it's like the worst thing in the world. Like, okay, it's not literally the worst thing in the world, but it's really annoying. And I had to do that for two and a half hours. Oh, hello. Now you're dead. Is the other guy revived yet? Yes, they are. Good for you. I'm, I'm also probably kind of hangry. I haven't eaten all day. I had to deal with that stupid thing during my break. Yeah, but like the Necros probably like is like, oh, like, okay, first and foremost, Necros probably doesn't. Like, I, I'm fairly certain Necros doesn't work on the uh, flyers at all, right? I believe it's li uh, literally just the looters that can do it. Uh, that are, uh, what? Hydroid and Korra? No, no, no. I, I'm from an older era. Of course I can like, play games without eating. But anyways, like, I, I, I probably take care of myself most days. It's just today I was just like, I, I spent all of that time uh, working on something I knew was going to be futile. Because, like, I was asked to. Oh, well, I was voluntold to. I don't have any problems like doing those kind of things. It's just like I I knew it was gonna be fruitless, right? I still need to do my Netra cells for the week, so I might do them tomorrow or later today. We'll see. I've gotten really lucky with the um, D Park Media though. I think I've gotten a total of five Archon Shards to, or oh, like from this week, uh, two of which are Tau Forged. So, very good uh, turnout. I do wish that we could just do more Deep Archimedias each day. Instead of like once a week. I don't, I don't see it really hurting anything if we were allowed to do it more. 
Okay, the Necros does help with the whole survival aspect. But, like, still. Oh, someone died. Who was it this time? I'm pretty sure I saw the Necros over here. Did he die? Again? Okay, let's grab one of these. Also, the drop rates for the Vita's Essence is terrible at the moment. We'll do this for like half an hour. Maybe hit the 20 minute mark and then see where this goes. Two out of five. Ooh. I'm going to assume that most people have forgotten about like the... Um, in-game voice chat system. I'm gonna let those things... never mind, they're not spawning. Uh, but like, apparently Warframe does have an in-game voice chat system. It's not very robust, so... Whoopsie doopsie. Okay, we have enough, I think. Because one guy has one, I have four. Prime in the oven, huh? So you can use them to get galvanized mods, right? That's that's the main purpose. Um, I'm probably not going to use them for galvanized mods because I want a rattler in uh, what we call it, uh, ribbon. Oh, could you imagine if I could get a Gradler in Parnum? Oh, that'd be good. Ooh, the tummy be rumbling something fierce. I don't feel unwell, though. It's not like I feel under the weather today, though. I'm feeling pretty good outside of having to deal with terrible HR. Well, we got Vitus all the way over here. Well, that mean going AFK. I can't do that. Just pick up the essences. Uh, realistically, right? If I was doing the, like if I was actually farming this and I wanted to say platinum or something, because this is not a bad platinum uh, outlet. Like each one is worth forty plat, I think, or twenty or forty plat. But each maxed out one is worth one hundred and sixty uh, asterisks. Like, and you can earn infinite amounts of this. Does anyone know if, like, the amounts of Vitus that you get from uh, playing the game scale uh, with the length that you've gone through? Yeah, I can see that. You weren't keeping an eye on your uh, second ability, were you? <sighs> okay. Yeah, so for every five minutes or for every round you complete, you get an additional Vitus. I don't know if it's that's amount is scaling per level. Uh, I also don't know if that amount works for um, uh, works with boosters. I do know that the pickups work with boosters, though. or yeah, boosters. So. Probably should get a resource chance booster, at least one of them, and. Um, a resource doubling booster. That's the way that I see it. Okay, only boosters. Okay. Because, like, in uh, Steel Path, right? In Steel Path Void Fishers, the amount of steel essence you get is dependent on time. Like, you can get up to, like, five a round. Or something silly like that. And that's not including the ones you get from the uh, 
hunts. It's just for every round you complete. I remember sit like when I was um uh I forgot what I was farming. I know I was farming something. I was in I was doing excavation and like eventually I started getting like three, five uh steel essence from just going like a couple hours in because I was just turning off my brain and just chatting with friends. Okay, so we should have a total of 8 right now. How many do we need per Galvanize mod? I think it's 20, right? I'm gonna let these things live. Because they could have a thingy thing spawn out of them. Yes, 20. Okay, so we'll get you your first Galvanize mod because I don't think you're gonna be anywhere near ready to max them out. And then, uh... Not another Vitus. Very nice. The others seem to be quite on the ball with reviving you, so... I don't know. I, 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 one thing that I think I've lost with age is the ability to just concentrate on a, a video game, you know? I'm a, I'm a bit too laid back now. And I think that's okay. I think that's a good thing. Being able to be, like... Sometimes I get a little bit like fiery right so that's like um and that's not a good thing i don't think like it's good to be passionate but it's like i don't know i don't know man so mesmer skin gives you a number of stacks right those stacks uh negate one hit of damage uh or negate that uh, every time you get hit or damaged, you negate that damage and make yourself invulnerable for like two seconds for every stack that you have. Uh, and also, the thing that hit you will be kind of become dazed and uh, immobile for a few moments, allowing you to cast your one on them for free. Oh, what was that? Go die. Okay. I do think that one thing that Warframe needs to work on is its spawning algorithm. Because, like, its spawning algorithm is kind of awful right now. Because, like, if you spawn a bunch of things and then run away from them, you just never... You, like, they'll just, like, be stuck in Narnia half the time. Instead of teleporting along with you. Not someone died again. Lolstar, is that you? No, it's young. Okay. Be careful how many of those uh, red things you pick up, because they do reduce your stats for each one you have. But you're using Revenant, it should be fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello, Bengali. New Warframe player, you want to ask, uh, is there any endgame content in Warframe you repeat missions to, for better gear? Uh, yes and no. There's no true endgame to Warframe because the game keeps moving forward, right? However, the endgame gear that you're talking about uh, come in a couple of different categories. Uh, if you're looking for power, right, you're going to be looking for uh, ribbons, which are items that you can get uh, a couple of times a day with a couple of guaranteed sources uh, everywhere. And those will significantly boost, uh, have like randomized stats that would 
probably significantly boost how well your weapon does, right? Um, for instance, my weapon right now has a ribbon that uh, increases my crit chance and crit damage by quite a bit. Um, the next one is Archon Farming. Uh, you can only do this, or Archon Shard Farming. This is a very limited uh, number of things that you... You can only do it a limited number of times a week. You don't have a guaranteed access to any of them, per se, but it's not a... Like, for instance, they give you... Uh, what you can say is, like, unique bonuses to how you want to play the game. Uh, then the last thing, and the most, import, uh, most important one, I think, and I think that's everyone will say the same, is Fashion Frame. Basically, you make yourself look as cool as possible. If that's... Uh, other than that, like, PvP, there are niche communities for it. If you enjoy PvP, then you should probably try to find those communities for it. How many do I have? There we go, I have five. Uh, I mean, it's a looter shooter extraction, like extraction game, right? So basically, you pick a goal that you want to accomplish, and then you do a mission until you've completed that goal. Uh, there are lots of different things to aim for. For instance, there are giant monsters that you can fight, uh, and for instance, like uh, what, what, Yellow Ninja, he really, really likes the uh, what are called Alon hunts, which has you hunting a set of three gigantic monsters. Um, he's set up so that he can one shot each of the one of those. Um, so that's fun. Um, in my case, I like doing Railjack. I do a lot of rail, uh, which has you flying uh, flying around in your own space galleon and doing a series of missions until you are. You've got what you want. Um, let's see. Basically, like, at the end of the day, right, there are two forms of game loops. Or three? Three game loops, right? You either do the roguelike section, you do uh, mission farming, or you do, uh, what was it, rep farming. All of these things give you different uh, types of rewards, and, you know, uh, some are more necessary than others if you want to participate in fashion. Like, dressing up your, uh, what was it called? Uh, orbiter, or whatever, your home. In fact, that's what I'll be doing uh, in a little bit. I just need to, I just need to farm up some resources for it. I wish that it I could just get the recipe and just craft a bunch of this stuff, but yeah. If you ever need any help or any tips, or you just want some people to hang with, you can just let us know in the uh, Discord. The link should be in the description. If it doesn't work, then let me know. Uh, is that what they're asking? We can stay here for as long as need be. How many do we have? We don't need to stay... Well, no, we should stay for a little longer, because you're still wanting... Um, you're still wanting the galvanized mods, right? So we'll, we'll go for the galvanized mods, and then we'll head out. Uh, there's nothing else up here. Because, like, this, the, the thing about Warframe is that there's so much to do that it really depends on what niche that you want to focus in on, you know? Like, in my case, right, I'm, tr I'm doing a bit of content creation here and there. I do, oh my god, there's a lot of things here. There we go. Lots of essence. Uh, how many do we have total? We have four total. We can save him in a little bit. We just need one more. Um, for instance, who knows, you might enjoy fishing. Yeah, especially if you're an old-school WoW player. 
Where is it? There it is. Okay, come on, little star. Let's uh, let's go save. Let's save our uh, slowpoke friend. I'm not a fan of this resurrection system. Uh, one, okay, one thing that you need to worry about is um, if you like an old system, there's a good chance that it hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, the dev team is getting much better at going back into old systems, but it's going to take them a little bit of time to kind of get up to speed. So that is my one warning. But if there's, there's a niche that you like, then you can find people who also like doing it. For instance, PvP does exist in this game. So there are two things you can do. You can either enter Duviri, or you can do the star chart. By doing the star chart, you will access the rest of the game. But if you don't want to do the rest of the game, you can just do. You can unlock a, almost a, like a large portion of the content just by doing Duviri. Um, but clearing the star chart will get you access to story quests and things like that. So, you know, you gotta choose. Uh, we are also getting a major update soon in the form of. Uh, Jade Shadows and Warframe 1999. Uh, Jade Shadows should be hitting either uh, next month or... Yeah, it should be hitting next month. And um, I think uh, 1999 should be hitting after June. So... Um, yeah. Yeah. You want to clear the planets, you want to get to the little arrows, and you want to complete the challenges on each of those uh, arrows, the junctions. You'll be able to access almost all the rest of the map, and it'll guide you through the story. Yes, so you start on Earth. <laughs> yeah, like... A lot of players have not completed the star chart, so don't feel bad that... Oh my god, someone died again. Don't feel bad that, uh... Like, there's a lot to complete, because you don't have to clip complete all of it, right? You can check out my series if you want on, like, me doing my, uh, From Scratch gameplay. Uh, where I had an alt account do all of that. But, yeah, at the... Uh, uh, basically, it's... Just complete it as you go. Oh boy, oh boy. Need to keep rescuing people. How many more do we need? So we're at wave... How many waves in are we? We're 25, we're 5 waves in. Uh, Yeah, we're going for like 30 or 40 minutes. Where are all of the things? See, this is why you don't want to just run around like a madman, because now we don't have access to... We don't know where all of the things are. Uh, the problem is, staying in one spot means that you are... Uh, come on, there we go. Staying in one spot means that you are unable to um, spawn. Like, it makes things sure that everything spawns from the same place. But, like, if you... Wait, are two of them dead? Yeah, two of them are dead. Oh, no. Uh, we'll get this guy up first, I guess. Or whoever's closer. Uh, how many do we need? We need one more. Uh... Yeah, the, the main issue is if we stay in one spot, uh, yes, everything will, like, eventually come to us. It's just that it's not super consistent. Okay, let's say this guy, I think. he's He's been dead longest. Right? Come to me. Uh, you just walk up to, walk up to the thing and press the button. Uh, you've collected a thing, right? So go ahead and press the button. There we go. 
I think it's time to go for them though, because like they're they're just gonna keep dying. So, there are a couple things that you can do when completing a mission. You can... Uh, there is, should be a section uh, when you walk into your orbiter to your right. Did the other guy die again? Okay, we might need to just leave. Because these guys aren't able to stay alive. Uh, okay, we can save this guy. So, come over here, uh, Lawstar, at your leisure. They must have just very recently completed Star Chart. Um, so, uh, like, I don't really blame them. This is not easy content. Like, it's not difficult, but it's not, like, the easiest thing to do. Uh, so, if you follow the uh, right wall, there should be something called the Foundry. You can also hit Escape if you have already uh, talked to it, and go to Foundry. Um, and it's necessary to... We need to pick up more things to save them. Are they... Is he dead again? No, he's not. Okay, good. Uh, uh, they've got three. I need to just stick around the thing, I guess. Three times Vitus Essence. Very nice. That cuts down the amount of time we need by a lot. Um, yeah, just just waiting on this Vitus, dude. There we go. We can save him. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we've been in here for six rounds, so we're at uh, 16. So we can probably just leave at this point. We're at 17. Good. There's a lot of niches in the game, so like if anything's too intimidating, just let us know, right? We've all been there. Like, it's there's no shame. Uh, yeah, I can help with your lich. Uh, though today's supposed to be a shorter stream, so I'll, probably after this I'm gonna call it, because I have I have some other things to do. Uh, we should just head out at this point. I don't think it's worth trying to resurrect them over and over again. It's like, at this point it's not helping us do anything. Right? So let's just head out, I think. Okay, there we go. Because that'll help them cash out, probably get rid of some of their worries. It might be annoying for some of them, but that's okay. So now you only need three of them. I'll show you where to take these. Yes, Warframe probably has one of the most satisfying movement mechanics in the game. Like, by, by far. Okay, so let's leave squad, let's reconvene, and I'll show you where to go. Okay, so I'm going to set up, so I'm in invite only, I'm going to set up so it's cross-platform only, hopefully that should kick you out of the team. I did, don't worry about it, it's okay. Um, 
All right, so one of the easiest ways to do this is you go down here, you go to Arbiters of Hexus, and you go visit. You say yes. And then once you've done, uh, once you're ready, then yeah, you can just talk to a guy and you can buy things from, buy things from him using the essence. Uh, yeah. It, it Warframe has probably one of the most satisfying movement mechanics in the game. So back here. Uh, lol star. One, uh, you might need to find me, so first and foremost, let's... Okay. Come to the main hall. Where the uh, ember statue is. And I'll just show you where to go. I think you should be on the map with me, right? I don't see you. Maybe you haven't loaded in. My computer's complaining about something. Anyways, oh, there you are. Come on, follow me this way. So, if you want to turn in your essence, you just talk to this guy on the side. So what you probably want uh, is these galvanized mods uh these are what everyone recommends for late game content at least to get started on late game content so i i personally recommend the multi-shot mods first because they're just direct upgrades where the aptitude is uh like the status ones are kind of niche as well as the crosshair ones are kind of niche some people would, will disagree with me. The problem is that you need to continuously kill. Otherwise, you're going to lack damage, right? And getting that first kill is always going to be a annoying problem. Whereas the multi-shot ones, they just work. And if you kill, they get better. Right? So they're just direct upgrades. Uh, I'm going to get a Arc Gun Riven mod. Because I want one. And uh, yeah, just take your time. Look over all the mods. Yeah, I'll be coming out with a video at some point. Like, I just need to edit the audio now uh, for a unique bit of movement tech that has been, uh, I want to say recently discovered, but like it's been, I've been using it for like the last half a year. So like, it's not super duper unique or recent. Yeah, there. So. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a video for it. It's just that, you know, life. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get an arc on. Let's activate. Let's unveil. Gradler! Woo! Oh, wait, what is this? Wait, what? Okay, so it's less damage against Grenier. That's actually bad. But that's not... Like... That's not awful. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That was actually really exciting. I finally got myself a Grabbler mod. So... Uh, I'll cycle it a couple times. The, the issue is that... What is its uh, disposition? Its disposition is actually... Not the greatest. So the problem is that Grenier is actually one of the enemies that I want to do damage to. Doing 24% less damage to Grenier is actually really bad. So I kind of have to cycle. So this is one of the late game things, by the way. Is that you're collecting resources to roll these mods. Uh, status, duration, status, chance. I still prefer this. And... Critical chance, damage, and reload speed. Okay, that's not bad. I'll run with that. Yeah. Anyways. Uh... I think that does it for today. Uh, I have a lot of things that I can do. It's just that right now I'm... Uh, I need to get to, well, 
have some work to do. That's one thing for sure. And I want to get an early start on my weekend this week. Because uh, last week was kind of really hectic. So, I will uh, see all of you next week, Monday. I'll probably be streaming the Helldivers again then. But, if you want to hang out or if you want to re uh, like just uh, find someone to chat with, feel free to send a message in, d in the Discord. Link in the description. Uh, just a reminder that uh, well, it's very unlikely now, but if you are looking for or are uh, wanting to participate in the Dante giveaway, as long as I can hit a thousand likes over the span of the last two weeks, the deadline is tomorrow, uh, then I will be selecting one lucky viewer to be getting Dante. If not, then we'll try again. Next time we'll try with Platinum. It's okay. Um, so if you enjoyed sticking around, well, thank you. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to be updated on when I next stream or want, what I'm thinking about doing, subscribe or join the Discord. Anyways, thank you all for joining me today. Have a wonderful weekend and ta-ta for now.